show is at Corey Hufford Gallery. This is their brand new space, and the show is called Neo Nature. We are the new they. The show is kind of based around the concept of evolution and how evolution can be manipulated by mankind. When I paint, I just sit and listen to PR because I can't concentrate if there's music. I find a, a lot of uh, worthless kind of facts, you know, during the course of the day. And one that really intrigued me was the fact, or what scientists have surmised, that there was no great extinction. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is still alive today. You know, they looked at the DNA of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and they figured out it was pretty much the exact same DNA as the modern day chicken. So. When you see a chicken, you're really looking at a Tyrannosaurus rex that's devolved into something that can exist now. Like a zebra has a stripe, stripe so when they move at a certain speed, a, a tiger can't or a lion can't see them because they, it kind of their, their vision can't handle it. But it's in, but we think they're very beautiful. But but that's not the purpose of their stripes is to intrigue us. It's for other reasons. So I you know, put, the, put the stripes on an elephant or different kind of animal. So it's kind of just a very playful show about, about evolution. But some of the pieces I, I did like entire narratives behind the piece so that if you really want to figure out what it's all about you can or if you just want to be superficial and see it for the surface you can do that too. Normally I don't do sculptures, but in this show I'm featuring some new sculptures that are kind of also based on the theme of neo-nature. There's Fat Tony, which is kind of basically what Tony Tiger would look like if he actually ate sugar frosted flakes every day for his whole life. And Two-Ton Sam, same thing if he ate his cereal. There's the Temper Tot, who is kind of the terrible two. If you have a two-year-old, you will completely understand him. Kathy Cowgirl is kind of I'm playing with the idea of that we already use cows for, you know, to drink their milk. As a matter of fact, we give our children cow's milk, not human milk. I actually made all these fake milk cartons and then I put like a woman breastfeeding a baby on them and it said human milk, pasteurized, and I put it all in the supermarkets and people were mortified by the idea of drinking human milk. So humans are mortified by the idea of drinking human milk. 
So she kind of plays around with a lot of those ideas. Is, and she's also very sexual, so which also kind of throws another thing in the equation that kind of creeps you out a little because you find yourself being sexually attracted to your food. Or There's two forest scenes in the back. Um, one is my camo deer, um, which kind of the idea is like instead of hunters having camo, maybe the deer should have the camo because they're the ones that probably not need to uh, be more well hidden. Um, and then, then the other one's a Bigfoot family, except in this case they're, they're the tourists and they're out looking for humans to take pictures of. Oh. 